The main complications of malaria in pregnancy are severe maternal anemia, which can result in maternal death, and low birth weight, which greatly increases the risk of death in infancy. For example, malaria in pregnancy accounts for about 100,000 preventable deaths in children and about 25,000 maternal deaths annually in sub-Saharan Africa, where malaria is endemic. This makes malaria infection in pregnancy a major public health problem. We can prevent these deaths in associated social and economic burden by the regular use of insecticide treated bed nets throughout pregnancy and the implementation of intermittent preventive treatment of malaria in pregnancy and prompt and effective case management. However, there is limited availability of suitable drug regimens for the treatment and prevention of malaria in pregnancy due to safety concerns. This is complicated by the development of resistance to most of the existing anti-malarials. Anti the situation is even more critical when infection occurs during early pregnancy because the risk of teratogenicity of anti-malarial drug exposure needs to be weighed against the risk of under-treatment or no treatment. We found over 6,000 early pregnancy exposures to anti-malarial agents used for treatment and or prevention of malaria in pregnancy. These were reported in 22 publications, including one abstract. The reports come from a wide range of geographical and epidemiological settings, but mainly from Africa and Asia. Characteristically, majority of the studies from which these reports emanated were not designed primarily to study the safety of antimalarials during early pregnancy. We found that varied anti-malaria regimens were used, but majority of the pregnancies were exposed to mefloquine, chloroquine, quinine, and artemisinin-based regimens. More than 85% of the fetal adverse outcomes we counted were abortion, and still bets the list. The reported absolute risk of adverse outcomes were similar for all the antimalarial exposures. But in two publications, increased risk of cell births was linked to mefloquine exposure. Most studies reported multiple adverse fetal outcomes on the index pregnancies, which were also often exposed to more than one antimalaria. These coupled with the fact that in most cases, outcomes were unknown for some exposures suggest that the actual number of adverse outcomes may be more than we counted. So it is difficult to relate the outcomes to the number of pregnancies exposed to each drug. The evidence on the safety of antimalarial exposures during early pregnancy appears limited and inconclusive, but antimalarial treatment may not be withheld in pregnancy since uncontrolled malaria in pregnancy may be harmful to the mother and to the fetus. Thank you.